So now we're going to try and add a video to this. So to do that, you'll need to go and make yourself a video folder. I'm just going to drag a video in from Finder. You can use any Creative Commons video or any video you have made. It doesn't really matter. I've just got this little landscape video that you can see. I just place this basic little landscape scene. So to make this work, you need to do a few things. First thing you need to do is we're going to grab our movie icon. I'm going to set it to 0.7 scale like I did with the other ones. I'm going to add the box collider like I did to the other ones. And let's make it a little bit smaller. Maybe even a tiny bit more. And I'm going to place it over here. And again, I'm just going to rotate it around here. Let's make sure we can see it. There's our movie icon. And like we did with the other ones, I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to call this tag video. And I'm going to tag that as a video. And I'm going to make it a child of the site creep. Okay, so that's the first step that we need to do. The next step is the same way we made the media script for the audio and the image, we need to make one for the video. And let's drop that onto the movie icon. Waiting for the script to be created, I dragged it over too quickly. Okay, so you can now see the script there. So we need to do a few more things in Unity, which includes the f dragging our video over. And you can now see it's over here and it says a landscape. I don't want it to play on awake. So let's, uh, write, let's make it loop so that when it goes, when it plays, it plays around and around and around. Okay. The next thing we're going to need is the material for this. Because we don't actually want it to be a video clip. We want it to... Um, here we go, render mode. We want to render onto a texture. So let's make this texture to render onto. And what you want is a raw material. So what you want here is a render texture. Now at the moment it's 256 by 256, which is very small. So I'm going to turn it up a bit. And this is the maximum resolution that this texture will show. So if I had a 256 or 256, it would scale my movie down. The next thing I want to do is go here onto my landscape video and drop this texture into here. So now we'll need a canvas similar to the way that we had the canvas photo. Now I'm actually just going to duplicate this canvas. I'm going to call it canvas video and we're just going to make a few changes to it. I'm going to get rid of the text because we don't need it anymore. I am going to get rid of our image leaves. I'm also going to just delete the function of the back button because we're going to use a different function on it. So now we need to go up to our game object UI and we want a raw image. 
and we want a landscape movie to be the raw image. And here in this panel is where the is where it'll play. And I'm going to click set native size, and you'll see it's gone really big. And when I click the set native size, that's giving me the aspect ratio of the movie that I've picked. Let's just. That fit within our box. And again, drag these to the corners. And there we go. Now let's go in and add to our coding. First up is our media video. So here you're going to see we're going to do a lot of things that are very similar to the media image. So first of all, we'll create a game object for our canvas video. We'll create a reference to the tour manager. This time the extra thing that we're going to need is a thing called video player. And this is going to be the video to play. This is very similar to the audio source. Again on start, let's hide the canvas video. And I'm going to go over to my media image. I'm going to grab this if statement in the update and paste it across and we just need to change this the video and this to hide video so now you can see it's not has these squiggly underlines that's because we haven't made the hide video function yet so let's make a show video and again we want this to be public so that we can call it from a button or another script and we want to hide video so when we show the video we want to make our canvas visible We want to tell our tour manager that we're opening some media. And finally, the new thing we need to do is simply tell the video to play, to play. Now, likewise, all we're doing is the absolute opposite in our hide video. So let's copy all of this and we'll just make it the opposite. So here we'll go, um, we'll set this to false. We'll change this to return to site and this will be stop. So that's your media video done. But if you remember, we have to go to our tour manager and here where we have the thing that we've done with our sound, with the ray casting and with our image, we need to also do that. their video and it's going to be media video and show video now just remember the save saving is really important because the code doesn't compile in unity until you push the save so let's check out our work so like when we did our photo over here we'll need to assign our object so let's drop a video canvas 
into the game object. Let's drag our world center into the tour manager and here our landscape into here. Let's just change this also to landscape video. And let's give that a try and see what happens. And you can see the video playing here now. You can see that we haven't actually gone and checked our back button work. So let's go and do that next. Go to our canvas video, go to our button back. We'll add a function for it. Whoops, I added two. So all you have to do is hit the minus button to get rid of one of them. Drop your icon movie in here and change this to from the media video to hide your video. Now let's just check that works. So that's the basics of how to set up your like field trip of where you have all your points of interest inside your 360 videos. You won't need to do any more code. You just need to follow the Unity steps each time you want to add another point of interest, another movie, and you can do that for all of your different sites. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll just have a quick look at how to export it for Mac and for PC.